Okay, so it's uh, Kiriaku versus Watkin, but this time we're having a chat. It's less of the verses and more of the meeting of minds. Chris, we've been asking the UK state agents some questions. Who's your question from on this video, and uh, what is the question? This is from Nick in North London, and yes, his question is, if you had a budget of 15K to spend on marketing, what proportion would you divert to online marketing, and what proportion to offline marketing, and why? <laughs> That's twelve hundred pounds a month. Let's assume that we're not counting right move or the portals in that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I think those are a given. Mm. Well, yeah. you'd be surprised. But anyway, let's on. take the as a given. Let's take the portals as a given, um, and and say this is fifteen k um, extra extra marketing to spend. Okay, so we're assuming that they want he wants more valuations and more properties on the market. Yes, that's that's an assumption. What happens? Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I do? Go on, tell me. I wouldn't spend a penny of that and I'd go door knocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get out there. Depends how much you want it. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not talking door knocking, traditional door knocking, where you knock on the door saying your agent's rubbish, come and use us. I'm talking about the door knocking technique that we discussed in one of the previous videos. Yeah. Where you where you go and knock on the door and thank them for, for their trouble of Oh of, yes, yeah? yes, yes. And my, and the other video that I did called the Frozen P Method, where you knock on the door each week with brochures from all the other agents of properties they're looking for, and they feel embarrassed. <laughs> okay. You have to know what they're looking for first, I suppose. Yeah, but then you knock on the, you've got to have the balls yeah. to knock on the door. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't cost anything. I, 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 but let's assume, okay, this, I'm being a bit controversial. You there. are. You, well, not really. You're right in a way, but but also this reminds me of a conversation um, I heard somebody having earlier today um, about going back to basics, and um, I'm a I'm a strong believer in going back to basics and doing the basics consistently every day. Yes. Okay. And door knocking for me was one of the basics. Okay. So definitely, if you did that daily, if you did it properly, you would probably get more instructions than you would spending fifteen k on social media, yes. on uh, right, on leaflets or whatever else, billboards or whatever else it may be. Okay. Um, but 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 I, I want to make another leap and say, look. This is extra on top of the basics. Okay, go okay. on. Because at the end of the day, I think we, we need to, even if we're doing the basics consistently and we're out there rolling up our sleeves and getting stuck in, we still need to do some sort of marketing for brand presence. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say brand awareness because brand awareness for me is funny because I've used it in my marketing material, brand, brand awareness and name awareness, but for me, that's hocus pocus. No, sometimes uh, look, you can't measure it. Well, to be brutally honest with you, I'm aware of all the banks, but no one ever swaps banks. So I don't think it's brand awareness. Everyone exactly. knows who the banks are. Benefit awareness. It, it's <laughs> well, it's more brand choice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you know if it, you know. Uh, what, so come what? on, he's got twelve hundred quid a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it depends what you want to do with it, right? I mean, this brand awareness thing. I personally, I think if you're not driving someone to a point where they're gonna give you some information that you can measure or, or they can get back to, you're just wasting your time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a big pit, Facebook and Google advertising. You can throw some yeah. serious Yeah, you know, if you're gonna drive them to your home page and then have no form of lead capture, okay, complete waste of time. But back back to Nick's question, where would I spend it? Would I spend it locally or, or, or and I think it's a proportion. I, I, I'd probably go, if it were me, I'd probably spend a small percentage of it locally trying to drive more people to my social channels because I'm not, I'm not going to find them all. Yes. Yeah. Um, and add them to a custom audience, let's yes. say, on Facebook that I can then spend the rest of the budget yep. advertising to. So the advertising online, I would then divide that between generating fresh traffic to my landing pages and retargeting people that visited those landing pages okay. because those are warm and leads. So that's how you're going to spend your 1,200 quid? Yeah. This is how I would... Spend that twelve hundred pounds. Let's assume that they're not doing the being a local property expert. Let's assume that that they're not going to they're not going to go down that route. Why? Well, let's assume not because I don't listen to sales ploy. Well, all. let's talk about that for a sec because I, like I said earlier, when I just bloated out chatbot, you've just bloated out local property expert. A lot of people won't know what you're talking about. 
I'm, I'm of the opinion that local homeowners are interested in what their pro- what's happening to the value of their own property. Yeah. Just like if you went home tonight and you saw a brand new for sale board, everybody in their world before they got out of the car would go into right move to see what it's on the market for. Yeah. But they certainly wouldn't if it was the, that for sale board was half a mile down the road, would they? Probably not. They would if it was on their street. Oh, off the street, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So if you believe that people are interested in themselves and what their property is worth, if you want to get on their radar, surely why don't you talk about the local property market as opposed to yourself or your firm or your services? Okay. So how do you position yourself as this local property expert? Talk about why one part of town has gone up in value by 10%, whilst another part's only gone up by 6%. You could say that their ta- their area of, of Watford, if you're in Watford, has done much better than the other part of Watford. Okay. And why? And how would you deliver that message? Well, I would deliver it through one of two methods. The, the, the main one being printed media, be that a newsletter through someone's door. The downside to that is that people only move every 15 years, so you might have to put it through for 12 years which is cost or you could um, deliver it if you need to keep the cost down just to people with for sale boards yeah or I don't know if you've heard this thing called Facebook <laughs> have you heard of it no. it's great maybe you can teach me about it I'll tell you what man, I'm going yeah. to basically you can deliver your articles to anybody that lives in the town and if you think about it a hundred percent of homeowners live in the town that they own their home in so if you were in Watford you could deliver stuff about the Watford property market to people who live in Watford okay so how would you do that I would uh, produce article I uh, well this is what I you can either get them written for you or you write them yourself okay, fine, okay? fine and then po- upload them to Facebook yeah and then boost them and and uh, or uh, there's different ways that you can boost them on teaching grounds yeah, and exit, yeah. to people who live there. Okay. Or you and and then you could have a call to action that says if you want to read more, click here. Yes. There's your call to action yes. through the message box. Yes. With, there's your there's your cookie, and you could then follow them and, and right. take them from there. So how about this combination then, right? So okay. um, how about we uh, send a, a brochure uh, or a leaflet with the local property update or part of it? And yes. For more. Yep. Visit grantfrompropertyblog.co.uk. Yes. Okay. They visit, they get tracked by Good Facebook. 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 You now create an advert that only goes out to the people that visit that blog Bang on. with your latest update every month. Definitely. Okay. Uh, but we need somewhere to capture their info at some point. So on your blog, you might have a, a um, lead magnet, a, a free guide, or your AVM yep. on there to capture the lead yep, details. Yeah, can't do that. Yeah. Um, so now we've got a combination of both. So they're not exclusive anymore. We've got your local marketing, which is delivering people into your social yes. sphere, and you can continue to advertise to those people there. Do you, do you know, there's the biggest thing I would actually say, and I don't know if you agree with me, is, is make your decision, but bloody well stop with it. Stick to it. Stick to it. The number of agents that try something for three or four months, and then something else comes along, Mm. And then they try something mm. else, and just mm. as it, just as they're, just you know, it's like priming the pump. You you've got to get it, you've got to prime it, and you've got to keep at it. I, I've seen agents that spend twelve hundred pounds a month purely on free valuations wanted, but they spend twelve hundred pounds mm. a month for like four years, and they're nailing it. They're nailing it not because it's it's because they've just done it all the time. It's this. it's giving up. It's it's like planting the seeds and then. So if you said to a farmer, planted some seeds, and then after three months, well, there's no apple trees. Of course there's no bloody apple trees. You've got to wait for the buggers to grow. Yes, this is true. And this also brings us on to another good point, and that's, that's distraction to swear. and focus. Okay? At the moment, there's a lot of distraction in the industry. Um, a lot of new things, a lot of new promises. You know, the ABM's one, and then we've got these email marketing systems yep. two, and uh, chatbot, chatbots, and Bitbox. Facebook advertising, and Google Ad, and all these different things that have a promise of generating leads and la 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 la. Um, quick, and, the shortcut, the quick yeah, ways. The shortcut, and and jumping onto the next new thing, and the next new thing, and the next new thing. And I've speak to clients uh, who are spending two hundred pounds here, three hundred pounds there. What, 150 pounds on that, la 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 on that, la 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 on that. And I, I say to them, well, we can manage all your, di- I say, we, we can manage all your digital marketing for a thousand pounds a month. Well, that's expensive. Okay, let's have a look at where you're spending all your money at the moment. And you add it all up, 
all these bits and pieces, which are all just a little piece of the pie, yeah. and it adds up to well over that. Yes. So, because you've been distracted by all these different things. Shiny so, object syndrome. Shi shiny object syndrome, exactly. We need to get over that, get back to basics. What, well, just get the bloody basics done and stick with it. And if you're going to do, if you're going to spend your 1200 quid a month, then, and you just want free valuation leaflets, then stick with it, but don't have, don't, don't spend your money and give up after nine months. Well, you, you stick with it and you're in it for the long, long game. It's, yeah, like, like, it's yeah. like being the local property expert. I say to people, if you're looking for an instant result, you'll not get one piece of business for 12 months. So if you're impatient, I don't want you. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. But sometimes there are tough things that you invest your money into and you need to come out sooner. So I wouldn't suggest that you just stay there for 12 months. Yeah. But, oh, but, but then you get social proof. So, I mean, you and I, we've got videos on our own websites where people actually talk about the results and I, yeah. and I think there's an awful lot of people selling snake oil out there. Hey, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Okay, you like that. Um, I think the biggest thing is to actually ask other agents, does it work? Does it work? But but, but also be able to, um, like for example, again, we, we we're talking about not plugging, but we'll talk about this system called the Vendor Lead Engine, which is what we ask, um, which drives the leads up front. Now, you know, we're quite clear in saying that, look, some of these leads are going to be hot. But most of them are going to be really cold. You know, they're just going to be curious at this stage. So it's all, surely it's a case of having a system to keep them warm. Because that's where I think warm. a lot of people go wrong with, you, with these ABM. Keep, that's apps. right. Keep Is nurturing. Because you know what values are like. If it ain't coming on the market, yeah, it's, it's not tomorrow. Them. Then it's oh, it's, what, you know, it's no good. But keep nurturing. Keep sending them the property updates you were yes. talking about. Local property market it's stuff. It's interesting because I'm, I was talking to some big wigs whose name shall remain nameless at Right Move, and you know they have their valuation alerts where you can press a button and it sends yeah. valuation through, and they actually followed all of the valuations that that came through to their agents, and I swear they said over ninety percent of them, eventually, eventually came onto the market. Yeah. But they mostly didn't come on the market with the agent who, who was sent the original valuation because they went out on the val and they just said, oh, it came on the market and let it die. And then some other scrappy agent down the road picked it up. At the right time. But if they'd have been nurturing But if you'd done the old ring ring and the yeah. being a human. I think, let's, 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 let's wrap this video up. I think really, surely it doesn't matter what you spend your money on, but, but, but just put, put your flag in the ground and have the balls to stay with it. No? I want to agree with you instantly there. Well, it's going to be the right one. Well, After doing the right, yeah, yeah, can yeah. we say, once you've done your full research and not been swayed by fancy adverts yeah. on, on, on uh, let, let, let's add it. Let's add something else to the mix. As long as it's scalable and measurable, then make an investment. If you can't measure it, leave it out. I'm going to have to slightly disagree with you on the measuring bit because some, some things you can't measure. Like what? Empathy. Then it's bollocks. Well, then we'll have to agree. To yeah, it. you can't measure it. You can't measure what, everything. You, you can't you measure. Know, you know, our, our friendship hasn't got a number. All right, look, you can't you can't set out with your goal to create. I mean, what are you saying that you you're going to set out, stick your stick in the ground, invest this money, People, create an empathy? Okay, look, ninety five percent of buying decisions are made using the heart, not the head. Okay, head is logic. Yeah. Heart, heart is, you know, so it's it's why people shop at Waitrose and not Lidl's, and Waitrose is 43% more expensive than Lidl's, yeah. but we don't actually know that the chicken breast is 43% better. We just tell ourselves it is and then back it up with some stats because yeah. we said in which. Fine. Okay. But what are you measuring? Well, if you're measuring click through rates, that, that's one thing, but there are certain things that you can do that you do in life that can't be measured, like friendships and building relationships. That's fine, yeah, that's true. It's all about building relationships in this game, number one, right? But we're talking about investing in advertising, right? You can't yes. set out oh, yes. your okay. goal to be, let's create a, a brand that's going to create empathy, because how will you measure your success? Eventually, down the line, on new listings and things like that. All you can say is to your designer, create me an advert that's more empathetic than usual, and then measure that advert against your previous advert and see if that got you more clicks than that one. That's something. Okay, hold on. No, actually, no. You've got a point. I'll give you this. Um, I because I teach I teach my clients how to do video work, so how to do video tours, 
how to talk about the local property yeah. market, how to do interviews like this. Yeah. And yeah, okay, you've got me on this. I'll, I'll, I'll give you this one. The, the You can measure it because you can measure it by the engagement and, and the interaction of the video so you know what's worked. So go on, yeah, I'll give you that one yeah. this way. 